Summer, it's officially over for city students and staff. Chicago Public Schools returned to the classroom this morning, and Mayor Lightfoot even made an appearance at one school. At least the sun is out. It still it's feels a good, like good summer, first day. right? <laughs> CBS News' Marissa Parra joins us from CPS headquarters explaining what's new and what's returning this new school year. Yeah, for starters, CTA Metro pays all of them making transportation free for all students K through 12, as well as any adults that might be riding with them. All of this in an effort to make transportation more accessible to students as they return to the classrooms this year. That's the mayor officially welcoming the first day of the 2022 school year. She was joined at Falconer Elementary by CPS CEO Pedro Martinez. Now this year, COVID, security and staffing are the big school headlines. We've talked about issues filling staffing at Chicago Public Schools for a while now, and the bus driver positions are no different. Because of this, CPS will be offering $500 monthly stipends and or CTA passes to help students that otherwise can't get to school without a school bus. COVID protocol has been updated, masks are now optional, and quarantine requirements have been scaled back. And when it comes to security, we spoke to parents who shared the nuance of the first day of school. The sad reality that with the excitement of coming back to classes, comes a little bit of anxiety. It gets a little emotional to drop them off the first day, so we make sure that everything goes well for them. With the things that are going on, you know, shootings and all that, it's just... I don't know. You know, we, we drop off our kids and we expect them to be safe. It's exciting for them to go back to school and it's a little nervous. We just have to think that everything is going to be fine. He was excited to come back and he's in his classroom, so I know he's really happy to be back here. In addition to outlining school safety plans last week, CPS announced vaccine clinics this week. We have the times and locations on our website, cbschicago.com. Now, what you saw the mayor and CPS CEO doing, that bell ringing over at Falconer Elementary, they're doing the exact same thing right now over on the South Shore. They're also providing an update to those vacancy and staffing issues that we have been reporting on. Of course, we'll share with you what we learn as we learn it. Reporting from outside of Chicago Public Schools headquarters, Mercipara, CBS 2 News.